Hey guys, happy new year. Welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie Camille. If you are new here, welcome. Thanks for clicking on this video. So I'm just going to jump right into it. You see here I have this great, amazing, homemade DIY massage shampoo bar using Ayurvedic ingredients. I used hibiscus soap nut, fenugreek powder, amla powder, um, a melt and pour soap base of aloe and shea, as well as some essential oils. So the essential oils that I used were rosemary, lang lang, and eucalyptus. And I only had dried hibiscus and dried soap nut, so what I needed to do was use my coffee grinder to grind them to a very fine powdery substance, one that is very much like the fenugreek powder and the amla powder. In a bit, I'll get into the great properties of each of these ingredients. So what we use for the, um, for the soap base is a melt and pour. It's very easy. I got shea and an aloe soap base to work with. So this is just the hibiscus ground up. I wanted to get it a bit more finer, so I just ground it a bit more. And I did the same thing with the soap nut as well. Um, I was able to get it into a really fine, nice powdery substance. Sorry for that background noise, it's the fan of my computer. <laughs> um, but I pretty much just used a table, about a tablespoon and a half of each one. So soap nut is rich in vitamin A and D, you get faster hair growth, treats scalp problems, it prevents hair fall, hibiscus powder, it helps the hair grow from follicles that are dormant, combats dryness, and it really contains a lot of flavonoids and amino acids. Fenugreek powder strengthens the hair, reduces hair loss, and boosts shine. And amla powder conditions your scalp, minimizes grays, and cleanses, and it's anti and fungal and antiviral properties. So I took about a fourth of each soap base and I cut them into chunks so that I could um, use the double boil method and boil the soap base together. I didn't show it in the beginning, but I also used a bar of African black soap. And because African black soap is already made, um, it, it takes a really long time to boil. So I actually did this wrong regularly, but in the video, I show you that um, you want to boil the African black soap on its own. Um, and it might take a little bit of time, and then you can add it back to the soap base that you've cut. So this was my African black soap. I had previously already added it, so I just took it out of my bowl that I had the soap base in and boiled it on its own. And then it doesn't create the same consistency as the soap base does because it's already a, a, made, a made soap. But, and it dries um, and it gets hard really quickly. So you want to add it back to um, your soap base bowl. Um, and so I just... I put the chunks of the soap base into a bowl and just did the double boil method. Don't add any water or anything so that you don't have any mold um, or any uh, bacteria that grows in your soap. And so I'm just letting it boil and after some time, this is what it looks like boiled down. You can tell, you can see the African black soap. I'd added it back at this point. Um, or maybe this was prior to. Oh, yes, I did. I added it back at this point. You see that it's still kind of in these chunks, which is okay. It came out perfectly fine for me. Um, and so I began to add my powders here. And I just did them one by one, added them each, mixed it in really nicely um, until I, yeah, until it was just mixed in well. I added each of them. And, um, and then it starts to, to turn to this very brown color <laughs> which I don't mind some might mind having brown soap but if you're used to African black soap then you'll be used to the color of this soap as well so I also added my essential oils in this step as well after I added my powders just making sure all of the powder was mixed in really well and then I added my essential oils generously 
One thing that I forgot to add for myself was just a little oil, but after I used this, I realized that I didn't really need it because of the Shea Soap Base. My hair was so cleansed and moisturized. So I found these really cute soap molds on Amazon, and I liked the fact that it had the raised massage bar um, effect on it and um, I didn't make a huge amount of soap because I really wanted to trial this and see how I liked it uh, so yeah I, it came out to about four bar four and a, about four and a half four and three quarters of a bar for me um, and this is the next day 24 hours later I just take them out and you have great soap bars guys I mean you can't go wrong with any of these ingredients. They're all natural. It's great for the planet. It's sustainable. Um, and then you can make it smell like whatever you would like it to smell like. And you should be able to get about, um, you know, maybe 30 to 40 washes with each of these. Probably more. Maybe about 50 washes, I think, with each of these soap bars. So they're going to last a long time. I do wash my hair once a week and I'm probably going to use these soap bars to cleanse my body as well. So they'll probably last a bit less time. But yeah, they came out great. Um, if this video was helpful to you, if you liked it, I know I went through it really quick, but I like to keep things short and simple on YouTube. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, please, please don't forget to give it a like and um, if you like more content like this, please subscribe and turn your notification bells. Bye!